Hello everyone, my name is Asmagon and welcome back to the channel. And this is my second video on this latest drama with Arch Warhammer. Uh, I pretty much summed up my initial thoughts in the previous video, which will be linked in the description below as well as in the pinned comment. Um, I'm sure that's going to have plenty of dislikes and plenty of likes and plenty of both sides bickering. But uh, this video is actually... Uh, I was able to score a pretty uh, direct interview with Arch Warhammer himself. And um, it was a it was a pretty productive conversation. I'm not going to lie. Now uh, I'm just going to read through it, and then uh, I'm going to go through my thoughts, just like we did with the uh, the Twitter uh, the the tweet uh, snapshots, the cherry pick snapshots, and just like with that, I'm going to go through and and break down my thoughts on this conversation I had with Arch. So uh, I'm just going to read through it. I'm not going to try and do any impressions because I don't know if I can do them justice. So any commentary you want in particular. I said, uh, I was just hoping to get an official response to the cherry-picked tweets, and if you could provide uh, any more clarifying screenshots of the conversation, if possible, uh, if possible, of course. And, of course, if you, uh, uh, the old arch charm. <laughs> uh, arch responded, right, well, Discord has ordered me to delete any and all content that can be viewed as against terms of service, and with vague, and with vague that thing is, we have had to wipe the server. So there is, uh, that is something I do need to address. Um, there is no proof uh, anymore of the context that was around Arch's conversations. Uh, but I tend to believe him at his word. That is personal take, of course. I understand there will be plenty of people who will watch this and think that that's purely biased, and I'll admit to a degree it is. Uh, but I, I, uh, his explanation is about what I thought the context was anyway. And uh, basically, at this point, it's just whichever bias you hold. Are you a fan of Arches and trust him to tell the truth? Then you're going to side with him. Or if you don't, uh, you're not going to side with him. That's pretty much what's going to have to happen at this point without any proof uh, to back up his side. There's just the uh, cherry pick screenshots without the context. And since the context has now been wiped completely from the Discord servers, there is now no longer proof uh, to verify what Arch said to me. However, I do tend to believe him. And I hope and uh, I hope everyone, including the people who are anti-Arch right now, will still listen to the rest of the video and still listen to what he has to say in defense of himself, despite, again, uh, no evidence to help uh, to help him out. So I, under I said understood, you know, understanding. Yeah, server got wiped. Uh, he said, I wanted to keep it up because uh, context matters, but when there is a choice between that or the server getting deleted, I had little choice. As for the rest, they are jokes, and I figured the absurdity would have been obvious, like summarizing the entirety of the history of Africa in three sentences or quoting Chris Rock, a black stand-up comedian. Uh, all points I made in my previous video, I do also want to point out. And, uh, yeah, that that that's exactly a good point it, the absurdity of all those messages uh, of all those messages back and forth uh i do think that in it of itself it, to a degree is proof that this is nowhere near as bad as people are making it out to be uh because oftentimes you know i've had conversations where de definitely again not racially charged but i've had conversations uh, about controversial topics uh, by the way, when I say controversial, I do mean like Star Wars and such. So, uh, controversial. But, you know, things got hyperbolic, and uh, I did say a lot of absurd things uh, in hyperbole of defending my points or uh, making fun of other people's points. So there is that element that I think we can all relate to is when we're in a debate, especially with friends or people we're comfortable talking to, we, we do go into those absurd levels of comparison, absurd levels of uh, uh, making points. I think we all can relate to that to a degree. Uh, at least I would hope we can all uh, relate to that. If there's people out there who've never gone into like an absurd hyperbole in a conversation, you're one of the minority, I'm pretty sure, or you're being dishonest. <laughs> so that's what I figured and assumed having known your content for the last few years. Uh, the one I can't understand people misunderstanding is the last one, fascism leads to utopia. Uh, that was in, in a discussion about communism. The communists often say, real communism hasn't been tried. Real communism uh, leads to a classless utopia. I made the point that fascism or fascists say that same thing to show that it's absurd. So uh, that, that does definitely make sense in the context of a conversation. And I definitely uh, tend to believe Arch sh uh, more strongly when it comes to the single uh, cherry-picked... Uh, cherry uh, 
conversation uh, comments he made, I do tend to believe the the single line ones uh, because there's no context whatsoever with the single line uh, uh, cherry picked comments he's made in from the Discord. There's no context whatsoever, and that's beyond suspicious. The other ones are already bad enough where there's like uh, only a few, and they're really vague on what they're talking about. But in that case, in the ones where it's just his single uh, quote. It, it, there's nothing before or after to show what what the context is with the statement that that's made. So I think that's a I think that's a right there. I think that's a fair explanation on uh, what what was going on there. Uh, I said it definitely doesn't read well, but you have an extensive track record discussing fascism and your thoughts on it as well as communism. Of which, by the way, he has many times not only uh, uh, bashed fascism, but bashed communism, and f- always found ways to do it in a hilarious, sarcastic, edgy way. <laughs> the, the, he's very public with his dis- distaste with uh, fascism and communism, as well as socialism. These are all things he has publicly mocked and, uh, I think, denounced would be the term. Uh, just because you say your ideology would lead to utopia, uh, d- it says doesn't, but uh, doesn't mean it. I'm not gonna hawk on spelling. I I mess up all the time. Doesn't mean it does, and that was the point I was making. You may also notice that it's uh the one taken the most out of context, which is true. Uh, uh all of them were taken out of context excessively, but again, the single line ones with no comments above or below it are the worst ones, the worst offenders out of the screenshots I've seen. Because it's it's bad enough uh, when you have just a couple in a row where they're talking about something, you have no idea like what led up to it, what came after, and what's going on really in the screenshot is a bit confusing. But with the single line ones, that's just... For me, the fact that they're just single line is proof enough that this is, this is intentionally cherry-picked to make things look worse. Because if if you are confident that someone is uh, showing themselves to be racist or showing themselves to be uh, offensive and well bad, why why do you feel the need to only show us the one comment? Are you are you incapable of taking a screenshot larger than that? Are you incapable of showing us the full context? Because if your if your position is so strong, if you are so confident that you you know I've got him, this is proof unequivocal proof this guy's a fascist he's a he's a sexist he's a all the istinisms i can think of if you are a hundred percent confident in that why is it you're only taking a single screenshot of the one comment and nothing that leads up to it or precedes it or uh follows it why is it you're doing that to me that not only shows a lack of confidence in, in your position it shows malcontent it shows a malicious intent. It shows that you are very disingenuous with your stance. And it, it, it's just really shady and suspicious. If you're confident that you've, you've found uh, the Achilles heel of your enemy or of the person on the opposite side of the aisle from you or the opposite side of the debate from you, why are you afraid to show the full context? It's because you know you're wrong. Th- that, that's what that tells me. I'm just saying. You can disagree with me or not, but I I stand by that perspective. If you're afraid to show the context, that in itself shows weakness, and it shows that you're uh, that you're not confident that you can win with the full context. So I said definitely all the single lines ones gave me the vibe of vibe the strongest, which is true. Uh, I was not a fan of the single line uh, out of context messages because that shows the least amount of context and the least amount of. uh, well, anything. It's just it's just completely unhelpful and uh, absurd. Since there is zero otherwise, it would be clear that it is not my position. It is an argument of compared absurdity. And like you said, I have never argued for fascism, but I have argued against it on multiple occasions, like the Imperium is not fascist video and the time I debated against Richard Spencer, uh, which, by the way, both are really good. You should seek them out. Uh, for a fro- for a frothing at the mouth fascist, I sure do shoot myself in the foot a lot. Uh, I said, "Well, I appreciate the open explanation. I can take I can make a part two to the video right now. Is there anything you wanted me to leave out of the video through this conversation?" Hmm, not really. If anything, I have heard something about another series of screens showing my mods being edgy. So, if anything, I would say that I don't control what my mods say. I am not a Nazi. Uh, I am not 
Nazi enough to have started uh, researching the mind control tech yet, and I just said some more lines of, uh, you'll have to borrow the Tau's notes, because if you're a fan of 40k, some of the recent lore with the Tau has has revealed that they, uh, they do some mind control shit. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> all this being said, uh, Arch, if you see this, I want to thank you very directly for uh, for talking to me, for being uh, for willing to have a conversation with essentially a nobody like me. I do appreciate it, man. Much uh, much appreciation. Uh, I also uh, appreciate your candor uh, and your honesty and your directness with my questions. Uh, this wasn't a long interview. This wasn't ex an extensive interview, but it for me this was a good a very good interview because it just answered those key questions that I think we all had. You know what was going on what's your side of the story and uh you know uh i appreciate arch's candidness and honesty in my interview and i do appreciate the direct answers like i said before his discord has been wiped there is no way to prove or back up what arch's statements are in this interview however i am inclined to believe what he has said in his, in defense of himself not only from his track record and, and what he said in the past in what he's uh, definitely preached in his videos, as well as his candid attitude in, uh, in this interview. Generally speaking, I would say that Arch is being truthful, is being honest, and I definitely believe him. That is my personal uh, take. That is my personal belief. I do encourage everybody out there to have an individual thought process and to actually think about it yourselves. You know, do you agree with me on this? And, you know, like you believe that, you know, A, he was willing to talk to somebody, a nobody like me who could have been malicious and trying to trick him into saying something wrong, or and was still candid, honest, and answered the questions directly, despite not having evidence. But do you still believe, with his track record, with all that in mind, that he was being honest like I do, you know? Or are you still, you're like, hey, he doesn't have his end of the receipts. We got these other receipts. They may be out of context, but we don't care. It's enough for us to hate on him and fuck Arch. If you're from that line of thinking, that, that's your, that's your per prerogative, your perspective. I disagree with it. And uh, I am still a fan of Arch, still a supporter. Um, so, yeah. Um, feel free to tell me what you all thought in the comment sections below. Uh, do you think... That uh, Arch is, you know, being honest, being candid, and uh, respectful. Or do you think uh, that he, that there's just no redemption? That without the, without him proving that the, the context would have saved him, it, there's just, there's just no going back. Tell me either way in the comment section below. I'm willing to hear out both perspectives. But as, uh, as I've said, I stand by my perspective. I still side with you, Arch. And uh, thanks, man, for the interview. And uh, Next time this controversy ha another controversy happens, I'll be glad to cover that one too. <laughs> but uh, anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I know this was much shorter, but I still appreciate everyone who came on. And uh, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Again, this isn't content I usually do. I usually do 40k lore videos, gaming videos, comedy skits. These are the kinds of things I usually do, but I do feel strongly that Arch is uh, getting lambasted and he needs some support and some backup. Especially since it's not, uh, I don't think, I think it's cancel culture coming for him. And I think cancel culture is just coming for the wrong dude at this point. Uh, but anyway, have a good one guys. And I will see you all next time. For the Imperium, my brothers.